Welcome back to Red Dead Online. Today we're going to be reviewing this big, beautiful horse, the max level Moonshiner Norfolk Roadster. Now this horse is one of the biggest race horses that we have in the game. I believe, I don't know exactly what it's a, it is a multi-class horse, but it doesn't specify what its multi-class is. I'm assuming because of the speed and size, it would be like a mix of a race and a war horse or a race and a workhorse. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we do have standard handling on this particular horse and with the Nakadoche saddle, which is the best saddle in the game, at least in my opinion, uh, we do have maximum speed and nine accelerations so this is a very fast horse and you're gonna get up to the top speed very fast as well now this one we're using is the spotted tricolor and there are a couple other versions we're gonna be reviewing everything today we're gonna be testing the temperament and the speed and I do hope you all enjoy this for those of you that don't know I do review all of the new horses so feel free to check those out on the channel if you so desire I do have videos reviewing all of the um, the previously new released horses on the channel so if you really want to check that out but this is a large beautiful horse which we've been waiting for at least in the, the speed department there were really no options for a large and speedy horse in the game until now and this in my opinion is going to be within the top three best horses in the game there is only one downside to this particular horse and that it has less health than the other uh fastest horses in the game but it's not a noticeable difference really uh but let's go ahead and check out all of these here in the stable and i'll show off the sizes as well now if you guys do find yourselves enjoying this particular video or find it useful feel free to slap that like button it really helps out now uh the criollo is another one of the fastest horses in the game i know that's not how you pronounce it but i'm stuck in my ways and i'm not going to change um but it has iffy temperament. It's a pretty darn good horse, and I really do love it. Uh, but there is one thing to keep in mind with the horses in Red Dead Online. If you use one too much, they seem to get brain worms and just go absolutely insane. So it is a good idea to switch up your horses every once in a while. But we're going to show off the sizes right now. The downside of this particular horse is that it was really, really small. Now, we've got the Clad Ruba here, which is a massive horse. I believe the only horse larger than this might be the Shire. Uh, but then we've also got the Turkoman, which is just a little bit shorter than uh, the Clad Ruba here, which is a massive horse. And then we've got the new Racehorse, which is about the same size. It might even be the exact same size as the Turkoman, but obviously quite a bit faster now this horse is just beautiful i i love it this is going to be my main horse for a while i do have to test out the temperaments and we will be showing it off i show off all of the horses temperaments at level one because you can really see how they're going to progress later on because as you level up your bonding with the horse the horse's temperaments do get much better um but it's a good comparison at level one because you can really see uh the craziness in them if you start testing it now if we go to purchase a horse we can check out some of the other new ones here so we've got the norfolk roadster uh, and as you can see as they get leveled up they're going to acquire more health and stamina and more speed maxing out at the um at level 20 now that being said if you still want a racehorse but you like one of the like the rose gray or the piebald roan more you lose one speed one acceleration um one health and one stamina level which is you know kind of iffy but still the like this piebald roan looks really nice i almost got this one instead um, but i would recommend only getting the level 20 versions even for all the previous roles as well if you really want to be min maxing now also the uh, offers and rewards stand for the new horses as well. So instead of paying $950 for this horse, if you got the Outlaw Pass, it goes all the way down to $665, which is a really, really good deal. Now, these rewards are only good until March of 2020. Uh, so if there's nothing new that comes out before then, this is a good horse to spend it on. Another thing that I really like about the Spotted Tricolor here is the multiple colored mane. Um, so this is the only main that we have, I believe, in the game that has two uh, two tones to it. And if we go in here, unfortunately, I was really hoping that that would happen with some of the other options as well. Uh, but I'm actually going to always keep this at the natural colorization because we got the black and white. Um, and it just looks really, really good with this particular horse. But unfortunately, there's no options for that in any of the other styles or lengths, which would have been really nice to have that as an option. 
Um, because then it would force us to spend money on something else. It would be good for Rockstar as well. So, Rockstar, if you're watching this, having that two-tone main as an option on this particular horse would look would be awesome. So, maybe someday we'll get that. I did change the tail to this red and black, but quite frankly, I like the natural look maybe even a little bit more. I don't think I'm actually going to change up uh, this horse all that much. It's just really good on its own. Now, for those of you wondering about the saddle again, I will show it off now. This is the saddle that I recommend if you're into min-maxing speed and stuff like that. It's the Nakadoche saddle, or I call it the Nakawaka Waka saddle. So if you see that in videos, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, but this will give you that extra speed and extra acceleration that's not available on any other saddle. So there are a few patented tag back TV horse tests that we're going to do today. Uh, first, we're going to do the fire test. Well, not actual fire, but um, firing our rifle next to the horse, which will, if it runs away, that means this horse is not going to be the best temperament at maximum level. Uh, the war horses, when you shoot right next to them, they will stick by you pretty much no matter what. Uh, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to fire past this horse and see how it reacts. So it, it jumped up a little bit. That's pretty good for a not war horse. The war horses won't even jump up at all at level one. They'll just kind of rear their head a little bit. Um, but the horse is standing still, so we're going to actually just fire off a bunch of shots. This will... Oh, I have no ammunition. Good job, Tag! Trying to do a test with no ammunition, you heathen you. There we go. So the horse is standing still. That's actually a pretty good sign that this is going to be a solid horse at higher level. I also want to point out that this horse has, um, standard handling, which comes pretty much at all the top tier horses we have standard handling. Uh, the only horses that really have superior are the, uh, the Arabians, and quite frankly, I don't recommend using any of those as your horse, unless you just really like the way they look, uh, then by all means, honestly, at the end of the day, every single horse in the game is good. Uh, so if you like the way a particular horse looks, then by all means, use it. Now, the next test on the list is the good old gator test. Then we do a combat test test with the horse getting shot and stuff like that and seeing how the horse responds to combat and how it responds to whistling within combat as well. It's really frustrating when you're trying to do the gator test and there's absolutely no gators anywhere. Seems like this server I'm on is completely borked. There are no animals like at all. But I do want to mention one thing as a benefit to the larger horse. Um, it makes traversing obstacles significantly easier and they seem to fall over less than the smaller horses. I'm not sure if that's program design or just happenstance. Uh, but I do want to mention that as a benefit because you do lose one level of health with the Norfolk Roadster uh, over the other racehorses. But you gain the benefit of the size, which actually, in my opinion, seems to be really, really big benefit in many situations other than running into trees. All right, we finally got ourselves a gator for the gator test. Now, eventually, pretty much all horses will buck you off if you try and force them into the gaping jaws of a gator. Uh, but we're going to see kind of how this horse is going to react to this. And uh, see if we can push him over the horse. Some of the war horses, they won't buck you off at all. And some will even kick at the target, which is really nice. But, you know, that's... Oh, no! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that almost ended badly. Now let's see how the horse responds to whistling back while afraid. That is a very important quality. So even if you do get bucked off, having the horse come back after being spooked like that is a quality that you want. Some of the other horses, they won't come back at all. They'll just keep running and running and running and just abandon you and let you get eaten. Now let's see if we can push this with... Well, uh, while calming it down and see how close we can get without uh, getting bucked off. What you gonna do? Good horse! Good horse! Horse is pissed, but, but held on and then ran away. That is really, really good temperament. Um, and that's only gonna get better as you level up the bonding. But if you pour, push any horse too far, they are gonna buck you off. But I was very happy to see that the horse actually came back when whistling right away rather than, you know, waiting forever like some horses. Now it's time uh, for a combat test. And we're going to do kind of like a worst case scenario uh, where you start getting into combat and you're getting shot at and your horse is getting shot at and then you get off your horse to do something and then you want to bring back your horse in the midst of combat. There we go. So let's just get shot a little bit, see how the horse handles this. 
I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, buff it up because we are not at max a level. So the horse is doing really good just standing still, which is really nice. We don't want to see the horse like running away or anything. So that's good. All right. So what we want to do is now create a really bad situation where we need to get off the horse and then back on. So we're going to kill this dude. We're going to lasso this guy off. Oh, we don't want to kill him. There we go. Oh, this might have been a bad idea. This might have been a real bad idea. Game, let me shoot. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? Can't switch back to my weapons. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to bring the horse back in the middle of combat. This is where horses will really not want to come back to you. And uh, Harry Trotter here. Can we get on him in the middle of combat? Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see the horse bucking us off in the middle of combat. That'll get you killed in some sticky, sticky situations during bounty hunts and other things. Uh, so really good sign here. Oh, we just shot that horse in the booty hole and killed it. Very nice. Good horse. Who's a good boy? Such a... Okay. I, I'm liking the temperament of this horse so far. But do keep in mind that the temperaments of all horses will degrade the more and more you use them. Um, so make sure to switch out your horses over time. Having a couple different horses is always a good idea. So that way you can reset their temperaments. Um, but starting off, that's a lot better than the Criollo or the Clad Aruba. Uh, so I would say it's about on par temperament-wise to like the Turkoman. It's definitely not a full-blown warhorse temperament, um, but it's pretty darn good. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do do in-depth um, guides on these horses for each and every one. So if you want to check those videos out to see comparisons with the same tests, feel free to do so. But I highly recommend this horse. I would put it in my top three along with the Turkoman and the Breton. So we finally got a solid, large fast horse and i do have to i can't stress enough the size of the horse actually really does come in handy especially for like traversing areas and they seem to have a larger hitbox and avoidance of trees and, and stuff a little bit better uh, so that is kind of like a something i've really never mentioned in any previous videos that i do like the larger horses uh, because they don't crash as easy but anyways thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one